Hello, welcome back. This is the third video where we're going to show how to add the audio in and uh, edit a scene. So I've added another scene here, another camera, uh, the life cam monitor. There we go. So you can look at me there. And uh, I'm going to show you how to crop that. And you see I've named the, uh, the former ones the C920 for that camera. So that you know this camera's up here. And the life cam is down here, so so I can look at you can look at me while I'm looking at the screen, and I look like I'm looking at the camera instead of looking uh, looking down, right? Yeah. Okay. So that's that's the idea behind that. All right. So uh, let's go ahead and jump right into getting the audio in place. So we're going to click on the settings button and click over here to audio, and you see it says microphone auxiliary audio device. And that's the one you want. So pick your microphone input from here. Now I get my microphone input from this USB interface that I have mine plugged into. But you may also have a just microphone plugged in. Like here's your my webcam microphone. If I had a microphone, a regular microphone plugged in, I uh, I might see that. I also have the microphone that's on my Microsoft LifeCam Cinema. Okay, so I could pick that as the audio instead. Uh, whatever you pick as the audio is going to become the source for the audio. So, uh, but it doesn't actually kick in as the change until you hit stop preview and then hit preview stream again. And so now I'm getting my audio from, uh, from the webcam cinema. Okay, so let's go ahead through this process. So again, it's audio and I'll go again to my, uh, now, of course, you didn't hear the audio change because I'm only changing it in OBS. I'm actually recording this using Cam Studio because otherwise I wouldn't be able to do all this stuff. Uh, so let's go ahead and get the line in again and hit apply and uh, stop the preview and a preview stream. And so now you've got this mic here so you can see the difference. Okay. So. Uh, that's how you change your audio. Now you can also, if uh, you don't have to worry about using stereo mix to get your desktop audio in. If you want to play some music um, or have some game sound in your uh, in your recording, then that's quite easy to do, and that's why they make it very easy to do because it was originally made for getting game recordings into the stream to record to like Twitch TV and Justin TV and uh, all these other various streaming services, YouTube, and so that's what this one up here is for. And you pick your desktop audio device, and it's usually an output device. If it's if you're outputting through your speakers, it you know then pick speakers. It kind of depends on what you're outputting through, uh, what you've got what you've got set in your default settings down here. I mean, that's an important factor. Oh, not that one. So let's really right click on the little speaker icon down here and let's see if you can see what I'm talking about that little speaker down there see it so if you right click and you have your playback devices and your recording devices and everyone's going to ask how did you zoom in it's I used zoom it which is a free piece of software from Microsoft just type in zoom it z o o m i t into Google and you'll it'll be on top Okay, so playback devices and recording devices. So depending on what your playback device is, what your default playback device is, right now mine is the line out of my USB device. But you may be using your speakers, for instance, okay? Or uh, or any other of a various number of outputs. Well, whichever you use, pick the ones you're using from here default it's supposed to grab from that setting that you just saw and uh, and so in my case since I have it set to the line out of my USB device that would be where the sound of my games and stuff was going to be coming from all right so uh, so I would pick that now you can use an input device so you if you click on this a different list shows up of the different input devices that's the same as what you see down here okay and uh, that's your different input devices. That's sometimes handy. There's a case point where that's very useful, in fact. 
But for now, we're going to just use the input device for desktop audio, and in our case, it might be this line out, for instance, which is my my output from the USB Focusrite Scarlett 2i2. All right, so that's how you get music in. You don't have to use, notice I didn't have to use stereo mix or any of that kind of stuff. It just pick the thing from there, pick, pick whatever I'm playing back through and pick it from here and bingo, I've got, I'm gonna have audio coming from, uh, from my system in there. Now you can't force your microphone to mono. If you've got a device like I've got, the line in uh, Scarlet, it's got a left and right input, and if I just plug one microphone into the left side, then I only get audio through the left. So I can force it so that it's centered. I actually have it coming out of a preamp into this thing, into a splitter, into a Y cord that splits it to go into the left and right, and that's why you're hearing me mono as it is right now. But uh, you can force the mic to be mono just by clicking that, and it does it for you, and you don't need a Y cord. So if you find that you know, to be a pain, and it's, your microphone's always showing up in the left speaker, or the right speaker, just click this, and it'll wind up in the center, all right? Okay, so that's uh, the big deal right there. So now we have some sound system audio coming in, and uh, we have various uh, cams, and uh, so you're pretty good to go as far as getting two cameras, monitor capture, and some audio, getting your microphone in there, and even some desktop audio. Now watch it with the copyright restrictions. If YouTube hears any kind of copywritten music as a background for your recording, they're gonna flag your recordings. You you're, you're get a flag on the YouTube, and it's a stain that sticks with you for six months, so it can even get booted if you do it too much. So don't be putting any kind of copywritten stuff game audio and stuff like that they don't mind but uh but they're really sensitive about what kind of background music you've got going on so make sure it's your own or something that's completely nondescript or something that's open source uh, you know that you you got from a place that's freely giving the music with no copyright restrictions as a creative commons licensing for instance and stuff like that okay so Okay, so that's it for this video, and uh, we'll cover in the next one actually editing the scene and uh, changing the size of these windows that the webcams are in. Okay, so uh, I'll see you in the next video, and that should be, uh, you really should be already good to go to get started, and so we're starting to get into some of the more advanced things.